So in this video we're going to look at what a vector space is. It's one of the key ideas of linear algebra and it's going to be very difficult to follow any course in linear algebra if you don't know what a vector space is. So, the basic idea of a vector space it is a space in which any two vectors in the space can be added or scaled without leaving the space. So you pick two vectors and you add them together the resultant vector is in the space and you scale it, so you multiply it by a number 2, 7, 12, whatever, without leaving the space. So the scaled vector is in the space and the vector that results in adding vectors is still in the space. That's what a vector space is. Uh, you often hear people talking about Rn. This is uh, very important. So Rn is a space in which adding any two vectors, not absolutely any, um, or scaling by any vector with the same dimension is always possible. So it contains basically all the vectors. You see, Rn vector space includes every vector of the same dimension as the space. Right? So this is R2, n is 2, right? which is basically all of the 2D vectors. It's this plane and it just goes on endlessly. So every single possible vector is in that space. And the n is simply the number of dimensions. So uh, this is a plane and the plane contains all the vectors. A plane is two-dimensional. And if you were working in three dimensions, so you had three axes, n would be three, so you'd be in R3. Four dimensions is R4. Once you get up to matrix uh, spaces, you get R9, 3 by 3 matrix. Um, and you might want to know why we use the symbol R. It's not particularly exciting. R just stands for real. Uh, and it's to distinguish between complex space, which you use the symbol C, so you'd have C3, C2, and so on. So let's look at some spaces. We've got R2 is a vector space that contains all real 2D vectors. You've seen a, a drawing of it two slides ago, which is just a plane in the xy axis that just goes on forever. So all of the vectors that are two-dimensional fit in that space. Uh, R3 is a vector space containing all real 3D vectors. So absolutely every vector with three components, like 1, 2, 3, and 7, 5, 8, they would all be in um, R3, even a billion, two billion, three billion, as uh, uh, three components of a vector, that's in R3. And you also get subspaces, which is the sort of follow-on idea. Um, vector spaces within Rn are called subspaces, so they don't contain absolutely every vector, but they contain all the vectors that follow the rules I said about subspaces that you can add any two vectors in the subspace uh, or scale by any vector and still be within the subspace and I've got um, a video that talks about what is a subspace which you may want to have a look at